Creepiest Archaeological Discoveries Number 10. Ancient War Trophy Pit A circular pit was discovered containing the remains of 10 people and it could shed some light on ancient combat 6,000 years ago. Near the city of Strasbourg, France, archaeologists believe that this tells the story behind bloodthirsty warriors in this region who massacred a group of people using crude stone axes as their weapon of choice. Many of the bodies were missing arms, which led them to believe that the severed limbs were actually kept as a trophy of war of some kind. The bodies were found dumped on top of each other, which suggests that they were victims of the savage battles and disposed them in ancient grain silos. Hip bones, as well as skulls cracked open, leave us with a violent reminder of the past. Others claim they were human sacrifices of slaves, but the main archaeologist at the site, Dr. Chanel, states that it's from violent acts of overkilling in relation to Neolithic wars. Number 9. Weymouth Dorset Excavation you really did want to run into the Vikings back in the day. These were fierce warriors and didn't have an ounce of mercy in their veins. So imagine the revenge people wanted to get on them when they were finally captured. In order to make a statement, 51 Vikings were stripped and executed around 970 AD by beheading them when they were captured by their foe, the Saxons. This here was their final resting place. This would have certainly been a gruesome scene, especially since many of the executions used medieval weapons. No longer can these warriors cruise the seas, searching for loot and treasures. Researchers sifted through the carnage to see if they could come up with any Viking artifacts. Each skeleton was completely detached from the skull, and a few more were even displayed on stakes as a warning to all other Vikings. Number 8. The Bog People People who were buried and naturally preserved from bogs can become extremely creepy and facial features remain remarkably intact as you can tell from this photo. Despite them being well preserved, their skin turns an eerie color from the surrounding conditions. A combination of the acidic water, low temperature, and lack of oxygen preserve, but severely discolor their skin. The oldest bog body dates back to 8000 BC. The bog man known as Grobal was found with a stab wound to his arm, indicating that he tried to defend himself against the attack. Other marks show that he was stabbed in the heart. Hold on, it gets even stranger his nipples were also removed. Be careful when you walk across the bogs in Denmark late at night, because the bog people will get you. Number 7. Hidden Vault, New York Sewer workers in New York City came across a dozen skeletons inside a creepy 19th century vault in Washington Square. The mysterious vault measured 15 by 20 feet long and 8 feet high. The DNA evidence tends to determine the remains being over 100 years old. Historians tend to believe that it might have been a burial site for Native Americans sometime between 1797 and 1826. Many were creeped out while others were simply fascinated that something like this could exist right under their own feet. Washington Square was used as a public burial ground not long after the Revolutionary War, so it makes sense but still shocking and spooky. Number 6. Werewolf Skull a mysterious skull was discovered, locked with a chain and buried by a farmer in the village of Snavo Selo, Macedonia. It appears to resemble a werewolf of some sort. According to folklore from the Balkan states, werewolf-like creatures needed to be disposed of by decapitation and burning the body. Some believe this is a fossilized skull of a baboon, but how would it make its way up to the Balkan states? You can also tell the teeth are clearly different. After showing the photos to wildlife experts, many believe it came from a deformed wolf who suffered from Paget's disease. This causes mammal skulls to increase in size and appear similar to human skulls. Could this skull possibly belong to a mysterious wolf that was thought to be a werewolf? What do you believe? Number 5. Great Plague Burial Site During the Great Plague of London during the 17th century, it wiped out nearly a quarter of London's population. This meant that many were dug in a mass grave like you see in this photo in order to help prevent the disease from getting even more out of control. This shouldn't be confused with the Black Death during the 1300s. In an attempt to keep the next apocalypse from occurring, bodies were stacked up nearly 8 people high. It's believed that this pit contained more than 100 bodies at some point and they were placed in this final resting spot. In order to quarantine the victims, they were kept inside their houses as well and their houses were marked with a giant red cross. Number 4. Skull Drilling Archaeologists in Russia came across a startling discovery when they noticed that 13 skulls dating back to the Bronze Age were found with holes drilled into them. 
Was this ritual performed while they were still alive as some type of medical practice or something post-mortem? Archaeologists say this was a gruesome ritual that took place from 4000 BC to 2000 BC and people survived it more often than you would think. All the skull marks seem to have the same place drilled into it in the back of the head, which is obviously a dangerous place to do this. There are some that believe it was a medical practice, while others are speculating that it was done as some type of gruesome fashion statement. Some think it could be possible that drilling into the skull could promote brain growth, blood flow to the brain, and cure people from seizures and headaches. Could our skulls actually be limiting our brain growth? Probably not worth the risk to try to find out. Number 3. The York Burial Five mysterious bodies as well as other artifacts were discovered in a church in York, United Kingdom. This took place at the All Saints Church during an archaeological dig for restoration work. They were a little surprised by what they came across. Three remains of soldiers were found seemingly protecting the tomb of the mother and her child. It's believed that the mother was pregnant at some time when she passed away in the 13th century. If the bones didn't seem creepy enough, there was also mysterious markings that were believed to ward off spirits. More archaeological digs near this site hope to unveil artifacts from Vikings. Number 2. Incan Mummy The Incans had a cruel form of sacrifice known as Kappa Kocha. This required them to leave their most beautiful children to freeze in the Andes Mountains. This was considered to be an offering to the gods, but it seemed like it preserved the bodies in perfect condition. Her and two other kids were found in the mountains while being in a trance-like state from coca leaves and chicha. Learning a great deal from a civilization has its setbacks, however, they learned a great deal about how the Incans dressed and their hairstyles. What would you do if you stumbled across a mummy like this? And number one, buried hands. This discovery sheds some light on another gruesome practice among ancient civilizations, and it could leave you with nightmares. Archaeologists digging at an ancient palace in the city of Avaris came across a creepy discovery when they found 16 severed hands sliced from the arm. This was later proved that ancient Egyptians were paid for cutting off the right hands of enemies during battle. A hand was exchanged for gold by the pharaoh. This was believed to immobilize the enemy in the afterlife, depriving them of power for eternity. This is the early physical evidence of this practice, and it dates back to over 3,600 years ago. Some of the hands were even found in what's thought to be the throne room, meaning the pharaoh was there. Scientists are uncertain exactly where this tradition came from.